Are you looking to revamp or refresh your branding for 2022? Well then keep watching. Hi, it's Seto from Render Forest, and in this video, I'll be talking about some trends that we think will continue and carry over into 2022. If you're looking to start or refresh your personal brand, small business, side hustle, or you're a designer yourself, then hopefully this will help. In this video, we're gonna be giving away three free HD downloads. The first three people to comment with a timestamp of when Randy appears will win. Just to clarify, I'm gonna be using the words font and typeface interchangeably, and also I might be butchering some of these typeface names, so don't judge too hard. First, let's start with sans serif fonts. A sans serif font is, as the name implies, without serifs. Sans means without. In typography terms, a serif is the small strokes or extensions at the end of a long stroke, such as the leg of a K or an R. There are several styles of sans serif fonts, including geometric styles, for example, Futura, and also humanistic styles like Frutiger. There are also grotesque sans serifs like Frank and Gothic, and also neo-grotesque sans serifs like Havelica. Sans serif fonts are popular with brands and are usually easier to read on screens because they are simpler design compared to the serif fonts. Here are three examples of sans serif trends that we think are gonna continue into 2022. One is Axforma, the other is Bison, and also TT Norms Pro. Now let's talk about serif fonts. These are a couple that we think are gonna be trendy in 2022. The first is Cotford. Cotford is an elegant and alternative to Times New Roman, and also its bold and italic versions are very unique. Second is Love Child. Personally, I think Love Child has a very Nordic and Art Nouveau style to them. And last is New Paris. New Paris has high contrast between thick and thin strokes. Now let's talk about slab serif fonts. Slab fonts are iconic by their bold, thickness, and imposing designs. The first one to look out for in 2022 is Adele. The Adele slab serif font has an all caps version that feels very collegiate. Number two is Sangora. Sangora has a very strong ball terminals and ears sometimes they're called. You'll see these at the end of the letters. Number three is TT Hoves. This slab font has clear readable text, especially good for outdoor signs or signage. And also the outline version of this text is very interesting. Here are some Instagram and social media trends that we think are gonna continue. First is Kafina. This and other similar fonts are very popular, especially among lifestyle and beauty accounts. The hallmark is chunky text with extravagant and elongated ears and tails. This is probably going to spill over into 2022. After that, we'll see. Next is Kayana and Wensley. They're very similar to me, so that's why I'm putting them together. Both are similar, clean, and timeless. You could have seen these with fashion brands or for event posters. The last of this group is King Amsterdam. This and similar fonts were the go-to font for things made on Etsy. They were very popular. I'm sure you've seen it. I think this general design will stick through during 2022. Also, keep in mind that just because a font is trending now doesn't mean it's going to be right for you and your company. Just because it worked well for another company in their industry doesn't mean it might be right for you. Also, keep in mind the factor of size. Some fonts and typefaces do well in large formats. So for example, billboards or posters. Others will be better for smaller formats like a business card or a brochure. So what did you think of my list? Or what did I leave off? If you think you know what's gonna be branding trends during 2022, let me know down in the comments. Thank you for sticking with us so far. You can use the promo code that appears now on your screen during checkout for your first paid subscription. Also, if you found this topic interesting, check out the links down in the description. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell for more creative and branding tool tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.